but still enabled Peter Jackson and his merry men to get up to 120 vehicles a day in here. Now the reason that the engineers from the New Zealand Army came in here is that was arranged by our then Prime Minister Helen Clark. Now Helen Clark uh, did other things as well for Peter Jackson. She gave him easier access to our national parks and our scenic reserves. She didn't uh, let them break any rules. She just cut down on the incessant paperwork. So uh, Helen Clark and Peter Jackson have done more for New Zealand tourism than any other two other people in my lifetime. So Helen Clark, whoop, whoop. remember that name guys because you're going to hear it again. At the moment she is going for the top job in the United Nations, the Secretary General's job. And I would bet all of Kate's digits that she will get it. So if she doesn't, come back, I'll cut all the Kate's fingers and toes off for you. Kate shouldn't gamble if you're not prepared to lose. I reckon. I reckon. Okay guys, once the road was in, um, as I said, Peter Jackson could get up to 120 vehicles a day in and out of here. A lot of those vehicles were truck and trailer units. They carried in men, machinery, building materials, and they built the first set, the Lord of the Rings Hobbiton set. Built out of untreated timber, plywood, cardboard, plastic and styrofoam, never ever intended to stay here. Uh, the tours were, were never even thought of at that stage. However, during the removal of the set, as per the contract, the big storm 